<laughs> Hello, my pretties. Nick Sarity here, and welcome to another exciting Vidtober episode. But there's a really bad uh, storm warning going on right now in Washington. And, I mean, it's not even raining outside right now, so I don't know if I'm maybe in the eye of the storm or what's going on. But I'm taking full advantage. So today, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys some Halloween costume ideas. Unfortunately, I don't have any like lookbooky type things that I can share with you at this point. They were just ideas that I came up with while I was browsing through like Goodwill and Dollar Tree so that if you guys wanted to jump in last minute and spend hopefully five dollars or less to make a costume or you just don't want to buy anything because you're as cheap as I am, <laughs> then uh, these are the costume lists for you. So, what I have is I have a list in front of me with ideas I've written down and the easy pieces to acquire to make it a costume. Alright, you ready? First one is witch. Very, very easy. Just go buy a hat from like the Dollar Tree or Goodwill or something. It's just a pointy hat. Poof, witch, done. If you want to be a little bit more witchy looking, just wear a black dress or just black clothing. What have you, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Um, as well with that is if you want to be more of like a Harry Potter witcher wizard, all you have to do is get a stick, get a chopstick. You know that takeout that you just got? Just grab one of those chopsticks. You have a wand. Done costume. Of course, it's more fun if you dress up from like a Hogwarts house or whatever, but no need because witches and wizards can be modern day people. Let's see, what else do I have on here? Oh, my number one favorite. If you really don't have anything to do, you have no ideas, whatever. This one you can also stop by Walmart or whatever to grab. Just go get a white sheet, cut some holes in it for eyes, and you've got a ghost. Voila easy peasy costume and you put minimal effort into it what what <laughs> I recently came across a really cute idea where you or even a group of friends can be fruit and the it's one of the easiest costumes because all you really need to do is get some construction paper to make a, a headdress of some kind if you're gonna be like a pineapple or a strawberry banana what have you and then you just dress in whatever color the fruit is maybe take an extra piece of construction paper and put some seeds on you. Easy. Awesome. Fairly original, probably, for whatever party you're planning on going to. It's pretty cool. Well, let's, let's face the obvious now. Very easy to be a vampire. I just bought a pair of fangs. Mine I, I actually bought from Party City. And I bought a slightly more expensive pair just because I wanted them to hold up. I wanted to be able to wear them a lot and possibly for years to come. So I spent $20 on mine. It's probably the most expensive costume I have on my list, honestly. <laughs> a pair of fangs. But they're great. And I mean, you could honestly call yourself a werewolf with them too. Nobody's going to question you. You have fangs, you can threaten to bite them. Please don't threaten to bite anybody. <laughs> Uh, another fun one you can do, you can be an animal. All you have to do is get like a headband with some ears, make one yourself, it takes like 10 minutes. Put on the tail if you feel like it, and then just wear whatever clothing goes with that animal. Easy peasy. I'm sure you've seen lots of slutty cats running around because that's the most common idea. There are so many different places that they sell cat ear headbands. Easy. No, here's here's one that I thought of that could be very interesting if done right. And I'm not entirely sure how you would execute it to a point where, you know, somebody passing you on the street would obviously know this is what you're doing. But I thought it might be fun to dress up as a Sour Patch Kid. Because basically just whatever color, you know, there are of course m many, you know, of their normal colors that you can find clothes for. Especially with how many different colored jeans are out there today. You just dress head to toe in one color, 
maybe even get one of those like spray hair color things from Walmart or Party City or wherever. And you know, if you wanted to add a little bit of like glitter or whatever, then you've got your Sour Patch Kid. How easy is that? You could even, you know, not do the glitter and just not give a shit. But anyway, the last thing on my list that I thought of would be a candy corn. Whereas if you had a pair of yellow pants, you could start there. You could wear an orange, orange shirt and a white hat. Or if you've got white pants, you can wear white pants. And an orange shirt again. <laughs> and a yellow hat. Or spray paint your hair yellow. And of course, you don't have to wear pants. You know, I would recommend wearing some sort of bottom layer. Just for the sake of society. But, you know, it could be a skirt, could be a pair of shorts, could be whatever. Skirt. Anything you want. But... Honestly, what you need to take away from this video, the life lesson that I am trying to share with you. Anything can be a costume, if you want it to be. You can come up with a story, you can just call it a costume. There is literally nobody that can tell you it's not a costume if you believe it's a costume. It can also, um, you know, not be a costume if you decide it's not a costume, but you may have to explain yourself to the world. But that's a different story. That's a different life lesson. I don't want to learn that one yet. I don't think anybody else watching this video does either. So, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and leave this video a like. Comment down below on what your favorite DIY or simple Halloween costume is. And leave any suggestions down below that I may have missed or not mentioned. Love to hear any of your guys' ideas. But thanks again so much, guys. Go ahead and subscribe for more great content. This is Nick Sarity signing off. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. And, you know, honestly, some of my friends and I, we know each other so well that we have to learn new ways to lie. And some of us are fairly new friends. And so we're kind of, like, getting to know each other through the game. So if you're at a big party with 